Hello guys, my name is Doke and today I'm gonna explain you basics of making graffiti in Photoshop. For sketching in Photoshop I'm using this Genius tablet. Um, it was not expensive, works fine, I never had problem with it. Let's do this. First of all, we're gonna create a new file. If you want high resolution sketch, write 300 over here. That should be good. And we are here. I like sketching in Photoshop because you can choose any kind of color, you can correct your mistakes and change everything whenever you want. You are looking at my last artworks from this software. You should know how to work with layers, if you want to know more about this, try to find some tutorial on YouTube. I'm gonna rename this layer to sketch. I recommend to name your layers to have it clear. Now I'm gonna choose brush tool, black color, and we can start with sketching. I'm making just simple sketch to show you principles of drawing in Photoshop. And as you can see, it is very easy to paint or to sketch with tablet. If you want to do this with mouse, uh, I don't recommend that, it is so hard. I tried that before and it never looks good. If you want to do this, um, take photo of your sketch and then put it into Photoshop. That could help you a lot. Our basic sketch is done, um, but I don't like some parts. So I'm gonna choose Erase Tool, make it bigger, more bigger, even more bigger. Yeah, that's perfect. And I'm gonna erase what I don't like or where I don't want to have path for example this part of E doesn't look good so I'm gonna erase that and now I'm gonna choose brush tool and make it one more time okay now we are going to make fill in so let's make a new layer I'm gonna call it fill um, our filling layer is under sketch layer, that's good. I'm gonna just brush tool, make it bigger, and we can start. This is how I used to make filling in Photoshop. So we got two options, you can use eraser and do it like this. You know all around your sketch or I would recommend this option you're gonna choose brush tool and here's your layer and with this button you're gonna make mask so this is our mask this is layer this is mask layer if you want to know more about this one more time find tutorial on YouTube there are lots of tutorials about this because this is very useful thing. So we are here in our mask and we got just two colors over here, black and white. I'm gonna choose black one and as you can see, I'm doing the same thing as eraser. And now I'm gonna choose um, layer from mask to layer. Brush tool, I got the yellow over here. And I will try to paint right here. You, do you see that? I can't paint over there because there is a mask. So basically you are doing something like this. This is your mask. And everything under black color will be hidden. This is very useful when you are making fill-in or background or anything else. So I would recommend to choose mask when you are doing something like this but you can also choose eraser but the mask will save you lots of time another great thing about using mask is that you can bring it bring it back you know i made a mistake over here so i'm gonna change color to white and it is back next part of our sketch is outline so i made new layer with outline 
And now we got more options. You can do this with brush tool like this, but I don't have a good experience with it. I'm using pen tool for this. Now I'm gonna explain you how pen tool works. Basically you are making straight lines like this or you're gonna click over here, hold your mouse and you're gonna make line like this. But if you're gonna click over here right now, pen tool will continue in this shape. If you want to make straight line right now, you have to come back, hold ALT, click on this point and we got straight line. And now we have some form over here. I'm gonna click um, right and you got two options right now. You can fill the pad or stroke the pad. If you're gonna fill the pad, you're gonna choose color, for example this one, and you will fill this form with that color. Or you can stroke the pad and it will stroke this form with your brush tool, like this. So this is how pen tool works. I'm gonna delete this. Now I'm gonna change opacity of my fill layer to 50%. You see the difference? Zoom in. Choose pen tool. And we can start with first part. Click. Click, click and hold. Hold ALT, click on this point. Click and hold. Hold ALT and click. Click. Okay, we got our form or shape over here. Now I'm gonna click right. Fill the path color like okay okay oh i made a mistake i made it on my fill layer one step back change layer to outline and do it one more time right click fill pad okay now i have to click delete and i can continue with next part click 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 Right click, fill the path, color, finished, delete. Maybe I sound like an idiot right now, but I'm trying to be focused on this. This is advantage of using um, pen tool that your lines are perfect. You can also choose brush tool and do it like this. But you can see that it is not that smooth. You can correct that with a eraser like this. But working with pen tool is more smooth and clear. Our outline is done. Now I'm gonna bring back our fill layer opacity to 100%. And we can see that there are some mistakes. Um, this is our sketch layer, uh, we don't need that anymore, so I'm gonna delete this. Our sketch layer is gone, and now I'm gonna repair these mistakes. For this, I will use mask one more time, black color, and I will delete all these parts. Now I'm gonna repair fill in, so fill in layer, brush tool. If you want to choose this color, hold ALT, click, and you got yellow on your brush tool. I want red one, ALT, click, I got red, and I can repair all these details. Um, for example, I can't paint here, so there is a mask. I should repair that, so I'm gonna click to our mask, 
white color and it is correct and also here or here and that's it now i want to make our filler fill in more interesting or just more nice and now you can see that i'm making my fill in more smooth more interesting and you also can see that this part is still clear that's because of our mask look at this all these black areas are in mask so i can't paint over there now i want to make shadows and you can do it with brush tool like this layer like this but it is boring and it's gonna take lots of time so I'm gonna delete this now choose your outline layer, layer. Um, make selection of this ctrl C ctrl V we got a new layer over here you know, I want to fill these parts but on some places I have to repair that Fail. Yeah, this is what I want. So I'm gonna grab the shadow layer and put it over here. Now I have to change position and correct some mistakes, but our shadows are done. Now we will make background, so new layer, call it back, background, backnya, backnya will be over here. Uh, we'll be gonna put to the background. I have no idea. Grab pen tool and make some shape over here. Now I want to make shadow of my sketch on this background. So I'm gonna make a new layer. I'm gonna write it shadow of sketch. Um, brush tool, black color, and I'm gonna change opacity of my brush to 28%. And now I'm making shadows like this, but I want to make it bigger. So, and this is how you can create shadows of your sketch. last thing we're gonna use this layer number one white color all right guys this is all if you have any other questions please write it to the command i hope that this video will help you thanks for watching and see you next time